Hey guys, Alana here from Alana Jade Studio. I received a question the other day on YouTube, someone asking how I had put in the time zone um, after on, on events on my website. So this is a Squarespace website and I'm using the events um, module here, which is available within Squarespace to sell tickets to events and, and share upcoming events that you have, um, either online or in person. But if you've ever used Squarespace, you'll know that by default, there's actually no way to display the time zone, um, which is kind of problematic if you're, say, running an online event and it's international or people from different time zones are wanting to book in. You kind of do want to display what the time zone is for that event. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've done this. Now, this does require a little bit of custom CSS coding, but don't worry, I'm going to leave the little tiny it's just a tiny snippet of code and I'm going to leave that in the description for this video um, over on my website so you can go over and just copy that and pop it in where I'm going to I'm going to show you where to put it in on your website uh, and you really don't need to understand coding to be able to achieve this so the time zone time zone shows both here on the listing of all the events but it also when you click through it also shows it on the individual event page here as well so let's go ahead and i'll show you how i've done this so this is my amber one week website you can find out more about my one week websites over on my website at alanajadestudio.com if that interests you the amber one week website was created specifically for wellness practitioners and on this site i have set up an events page and um, so i've just created an events page in squarespace in the back end so from the back end of my site um, I've just gone to pages and I've clicked plus and then I've added events here. So I've gone through and done that. Um, and you'll see here now in this example, the time zone is not showing. So I'm going to go in and add that really quickly and easily. So from the back end of your site, if you go to design and then scroll down to custom CSS, now probably um, if you've DIYing your own site, you probably won't see anything in here. If you've had a designer or a developer create your site, you might see lots of stuff in here, like in this example, because my one week websites do come with um, custom CSS to make them, you know, a little bit different um, from just the stock standard Squarespace um, sites. But what I'm going to do is scroll right to the bottom, and that's probably what you should do. Go right to, if you do see custom code in here. I recommend not changing it, um, but just go right to the bottom of the code panel. And then what you want to do is paste this little bit of, bit of code in. So it's dot event dash time localized colon after, and then the content that you want to put in here. And this is just here where you change the time zone. So I've put Australian Eastern Standard Time, but I could also to make it shorter put AEST like that. Um, and I've also put the um, brackets here as well because I want those to show up. It must go in between these two quotation marks, as you can see here. And I've left this code um, in um, the description with the video. So then you just click save. And when you, when you come back over to the events page, if you refresh, you will see that the time zone is displayed there. So that's how you add the time zone very quickly and easily. If you've got any questions or you need help with setting up the events add-on, please pop over to alanajadestudio.com and reach out. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.